Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 10 update error that is 0x800-96004. So if you're receiving this error code while updating your Windows 10, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run Windows Update Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings, then click on Update and Security, then click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Additional Troubleshooter and then click on windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then try to update your windows 10 once again now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and reset windows update components for this you can go ahead and copy this link the link is provided in the video description so copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down and over here you can see download windows updates reset script for computers running windows 10 click on it this will download the zip file so click on it then click on show in folder now over here you will see w u reset windows 10 make a right click then click on extract all then click on extract and once this is complete, you have to go ahead and open this folder. So open this WU reset Windows 10. And then over here, you can see WU reset file. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes to allow. Now over here, you can see the option which says press any key to continue. So press any key on the keyboard to continue. First of all, it will go ahead and stop all the services. Then it will go ahead and restart all the Windows update service. And that will go ahead and reset the Windows update component. So this process may take some time. So it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. Once this is complete, at the end, it will say press any key to close. So let the process complete. Now over here, you can see it, it is restarting all the services now. And at the end, it says press any key to continue. You can press any key on the keyboard. This will close the command prompt. And once this is done, you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10 once again. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy this command and then open command prompt. So just type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow and then paste the first command and then hit the enter key and once this is complete you can go ahead and try to update your windows 10 once again so go to update and security once again and then click on check for update and that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run these two command so copy the first command over here paste it on the command from window and hit the enter key and once this scan is 100% complete, run the second scan. So once this is 100% complete, copy the second command over here and then paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10. The next step is to use Windows 10 Update Assistant. So for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see the Update Assistant. So click on update now and a exe file will download. Then click on this exe file. This will launch the Windows Update Assistant. And it will go ahead and check for update. And if there is any pending update over here, it will let you know the latest version over here. And then click on update now. And once the update is installed, your Windows should be up to date and you should not receive that error message. Now, in case if this is failing, in that case, you can go ahead and use media creation tool. So on the same website, scroll down here, you can see media creation tool, click on download tool now, and then you will see this exe file, run this exe file, and then click on accept. Now by default upgrade, this PC now will be selected. So click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take time. Once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. 
Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can click on install. And after the installation, you can go ahead and log into your computer and you should not receive this error message anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.